and welcome back to Circuit the World. My name's Alice and today is an unplanned video. I didn't expect this to arrive this early. I didn't expect to be doing another one of these so soon. This was the first video of festivity that kicked us off going at the beginning of the month. The second Christmas count subscription box has arrived. The December box has arrived. It came this morning. Um, so I thought let's record it now. Keep it super relevant just in case you want to know what's inside this month. I'm interested. Um, it doesn't say don't open until the 25th so I'm gonna open it today. It's like an early Christmas present. I'm very excited. As I said in the first video of the Christmas Count subscription box unboxing, that's a lot of words in a sentence, um, they are normally supposed to arrive on the 25th of the month or near about the 25th of the month. Obviously, because of postage around the Christmas time, this is why this box has arrived early. But I'm super excited to get into it. I'm super excited to know, one, if it's gonna sing again, which I'm very, very convinced it will, and two, if it does what it's gonna sing. Let's open the box. So again, I'm gonna try and show you first. Let's have a listen. Ready? New song. Ah, oh, it's 12 days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. Oh. In a pear tree, five gold rings, four calling per three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Please don't sing through them all. Okay, this was funny for a bit, now it's just irritating. But I do know this time not to keep opening and shutting the box because it will eventually stop. I think. Gold rings, ba ba da ba dum. Oh shit. It either stopped or I interrupted it. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Let's go and have a look in this box and try desperately to make it not sing again. So, the card as always. It's Christmas! The most wonderful time of the year has officially arrived. The elves hope you enjoy your last Christmas Club box of 2020. We hope you have a Merry Christmas and a fantastic new year. Christmas is all year round. Christmas isn't just a season, it's a feeling. And that's why our elves will be sending your boxes out every single month of the year. Expect a huge hit of Christmas cheer this January. And then it says, oh shit, that's the cheat sheet. So we read that at the end. Let's have a look. So I've seen, well, I kind of saw this. Santa's footprints. Oh my God, that's so cool. Bring the magic of Christmas to life in your home by creating a trail to show where Santa's step was making his delivery gifts to the family. Look at these! It's a little, it looks like a stencil. There's two in there. And they're supposed to be Santa's little boots. Look, you can use them to make little footprints. I love this. This is the coolest thing. Looks like it's from a company called Magic Memories. That is awesome. I'm gonna try and find a way to utilize this in some way, shape or form. I love that. That's an awesome thing to have in the box. Okay, yay, exciting. What else is in my box? Ah, oh, another thing with a bell on it. What this? Oh, it's got a key. Have I ever expressed my love of keys on this channel? If not, I love keys. Ah, okay. So it's a little um, tag, like this. It's got a little bit of a holographic shimmer to it. Not really holographic because it's not rainbow, but I don't know what this is called. It's like holographic, but it's not a rainbow. Chromatic, maybe? It looks purple and green, depending on the light. Someone in the comments tell me what the word is I'm looking for, because I can't think of it, but... It's like a little tag, and it says Santa's magic key on the front, and you've got this lovely little heart-shaped key attached. It's a little decoration. It's really cute. I love it. And it's got glitter on it, and I love it. Ooh, actually, I think the glitter... The, the card itself is purple, that kind of maroony purple colour, but... The glitter, I think it's the glitter that's green and what get what is and what is giving it that colour changing effect. I really like this. This is really cool and cute and I'm gonna find somewhere to put it because it's cute. Let's find out what has the bell. Another ornament looking thing. More bloody glitter. It says, all aboard the Christmas Express round trip to the North Pole. Train three, road 12, CM. Departure, Christmas Eve, whilst you are dreaming, you shall board the train. Boarding, when the bell rings, the bell rings for those who truly believe. 
Can you hear the bell? If you can hear the bell, it means you truly believe. So this actually is a reference to the Polar Express film. I actually spoke about that in one of my festive videos last year when I did my festive, okay, stop bell. When I did my festive film or Christmas film countdown, um, top 10 thing I did. It just looks gorgeous as well. It's got like a candy cane glitter around the outside and the little believe bell. I love it. These are really cute. I really like this. And it's got a way to hang it up. For anyone who thought I was moaning about the plaque last time because I didn't know what to do with it. Oh no, I'm about to lose my bell. All right. <gasps> you know what? I was curious when I got this, if I would have any perishables in the box. The answer is yes. Oh my God, gingerbread fudge. My mum's gonna absolutely fight me for this. I'm gonna open it now. <gasps> oh my God. Mmm. 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 I was about to say, the gingerbread isn't really coming through. It's not in the first bite, but as you chew. Oh, that's divine. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. Festively crumbly gingerbread fudge, lovingly handmade in Cornwall. I think the company is called Buttermilk. That's what it looks like. This is so good. There's nothing in here at the moment. I don't think I have a least favorite at the moment. These are all so cool. And this is just, I can't, I can't describe to you the amazing flavor that's in my mouth. I thought for a moment it was going to be too gingerbready, but it is bang on the money. This is so, so good. And I'm not mad I've opened it. I'm probably going to eat this in about four minutes. Okay. What else does the box deliver? Oh. Little bows. Why is everything covered in glitter? Bloody glitter. They're hair clips. Oh, this is very cute. Do I look cute? Do I look cute and Christmassy? These are really nice. I like these style of hair grips as well. Oh, it's totally. These like quite chunky. Um, it's focusing on my face. You can't see, but it's like a quite a chunky crocodile clip. Uh, rather than like a bobby pin or a hair slide. For me who, I mean, I've just had my hair cut so it's been thinned out a bit, which is, I love it because it's so much easier to control. But when my hair is, as it normally is, it's quite thick. I need quite intense grips, if you will, for my hair. Um, oh, but that's really cute. Oh, I'm gonna look adorable on Christmas now. I love these. I feel like I've got more in this box than we got in the last one. All right, so we're coming to the last couple of things now as I I'm gonna leave those squigglies attached to the music box. So here we have another glittery ornament. It looks like a gold reindeer in a green bauble. What I think it is, is um, glitter encased in like a resin. That's what it feels like. Honestly, of everything in the box, this feels a little lackluster. In comparison to everything else, this is just, it's a nice piece, but it feels a little, I don't want to say cheap. Lackluster, it's not really much to it. It's a, it's a green circle with a gold reindeer, sort of, if you squint and kind of look at it right. I can see the reindeer. Would have maybe liked a red nose, maybe the reindeer to be a bit more defined. It's always difficult when you're doing things with glitter in this way. I've tried to do it before with mosaic. It's very, very difficult, unless you're working with really small pieces, but maybe they could have done like some outlining. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe the reindeer should have been darker. Maybe it should have been a green reindeer and a gold and then the reindeer would have stood out a little bit more. Not really too sure. It's okay, but yeah, bit, bit lackluster this one. And finally, the last thing I believe in the box, which I am already in love with because of this cute little graphic on the front. Look at them. They, oh, I can't, you can't see. Look at them. They're teeny, tiny, adorable reindeers. It's a towel. I mean, I can feel it. It's a Christmas towel with cute little reindeers. They've got lights on their antlers and mistletoe, and they're just having a grand old time, and they're so cute. I will love them forever. It's more of a hand towel size rather than, yeah, it's not like a big um, bathroom towel or a beach towel or a shower towel or something. I don't know what you'd even call them. It's a hand towel size, basically. Maybe a little bit bigger. But it's super, super cute. A really nice little hand towel. Something to put in the bathroom to just make the bathroom Christmassy. Who wouldn't be happy with that? This, again, it's not actually. I thought this was from the same company 
that we got the um, table runner from in the last box, but it's not. It's a different company. So that is everything out of the box. Let's have a look at the cheat card and get a proper rundown of what we had. So what the elves put in my box. Beautiful handmade glittery tree decoration by La Crafts Co. Adorable festive embroidered towel. Magical wooden Christmas express ticket. Delicious gingerbread crumbly fudge from buttermilk. Gorgeous Christmas hair clips for festive fun on Christmas Eve day. And Santa's magic key. Sometimes they don't say what company they come from, which is a little bit irritating, especially for things like the, um, this, the Christmas Express tree decoration and the Santa's key. It doesn't tell me what companies they came from. Kind of alludes to it might be in-house made, but at the same time, it doesn't tell me where the hand towel comes from either. And that does have a little label on it for anyone who's interested, because I certainly would be. It looks like it's from a company called Bellissimo, B-E-L-L-I-S-S-I-M-O. Uh, it's called Christmas Festive, Festive Christmas Towel, Xmas Towel is exactly what it says on the label. Least favorite, I think unsurprisingly in this box is the Glittery Handmade Reindeer Decoration. I'm not saying it's a bad product. It's perfectly fine. I can see the reindeer. I think some people may struggle um, just the edging of it could have maybe been a little bit more defined is the only thing I'd say but more than anything this just is my least favorite of the box only because in comparison to everything else it's just a little lackluster again not saying it's a bad product at all um, personally probably not something I would own either because it's covered in glitter and although at least the glitter isn't leaking out on me but it's just not really something I personally would go for Favourite, however, is going to be really, really hard. I really liked the fudge, I really liked the Santa's boots, and I really liked the hand towel. I liked the others, but I think these three take the punch. I just love the idea of the Santa's boots, especially if you've got young kids or children. At this time of year, it's always fun anyway, but to have something you can use to be like, look, that's where Santa went. He walked, you can see his footprints. I think this is an absolutely beautiful idea for anyone who is interested. The company is Magic Memories. They are called Santa's Footprints. They feel like a foam stencil. I would hazard that they're quite durable, so can be reused. I don't know how you would spray them, Probably not spray paint. The picture on the back looks like they've used like fake snow. Um, I think you can get that in a can. The fudge was just divine. Again, the company is Buttermilk. If I can find links to all these companies, I will put them in the description box down below as well for you. But the company is Buttermilk. It is gingerbread fudge. It just tastes amazing. The fudge itself is very, very crumbly, very, very smooth. Uh, just exactly what you'd want a fudge to be. And then that gingerbread flavor coming through at the end, but not too intense. So a really nice balance of flavors from these and just a good fudge in general. And finally, because I genuinely cannot choose between the three of them, we have the adorable uh, embroidered reindeer hand towel from Bellissimo. So it's just so cute. And I just love the idea of having something, a little something Christmas even in the bathroom as well. You can hang it on a towel rack and have them lit, just sitting there looking festive and fun. But that is it. That's everything in the box. They are my favorites and Lee's favorite. Do let me know down in the coffee pot down below what your favorite was out of this box, which one you would have loved to received uh, this month and links to hopefully all of the companies you see here, but also the Christmas count themselves will be down in the description box. So if you too want to get a box of Christmas on the 25th of every month moving into the future, then that is where you can go to get those boxes. But for now, Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute blast as always. If you enjoyed this video, go show that like button some Christmas themed love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss next time I upload a video. Stay awesome and I will see you all in the next video. Yep, yeah, I'm in a fudge coma.